Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. I am taking you guys on a little bit of a trip slash tour today. When I was in New York City, I made it a massive priority to go to the Glossier flagship store. I have always wanted to try products from Glossier. I have heard so much about the Boy Brow and the lip gloss and the Wouter. For some reason, I never ordered those things. And when I decided that I was gonna get married in Central Park in New York City, I told myself I would wait, have the full experience and actually purchase these items directly from the flagship store and that is exactly what I did. I have a few items right here in front of me. So I'm going to share with you guys all the things that I purchased, kind of give you a rundown on my thoughts and opinions on the products. I'm not going to go too crazy in depth but I am wearing pretty much everything I purchased on my face right now and I definitely have a couple of favorites so I'll be sharing that with you. Um, and I did vlog a little bit. Obviously I have footage of inside the store that I want to show you guys outside the building. It is a beautiful place. So let's get started. Let me start off with letting you guys know that the building or the location of Glossier is absolutely breathtaking. It is beautiful. When you walk up to the front, there are these frosted kind of glass paned doors. It has this kind of pink, interesting, orangey color handle, if I'm remembering it correctly. And it looks almost like it's like this exclusive like entrance. They actually can only let so many people people up there at once because it's not the biggest space in the world and they actually have employees up there taking your order and I'll go into that in just a moment. So we had to wait outside just a little bit but we pretty much got in within five to ten minutes of standing outside. It's really cute too because it was a very sunny hot day that day and they had a gal out there asking people if they needed sunscreen. They had samples of their sunscreen. I think that launched a couple of years ago so I thought that was really cool as well making sure that everyone's skin was protected from the sun that day. So when you walk in, it is this giant carpeted staircase. Now to the left or to the right, before you actually walk upstairs, there is an order area. So if you already know what you need or you're someone who lives in the area and you just want to pick up a couple products, you don't want to go to the showroom floor, you can walk right up there. They can take your order and then have it ready for you right then and there within like five minutes or less. So anyways, you walk up these staircase. It looks like it's like an art gallery. This has got to be one of the coolest experiences I have had with cosmetics thus far. I've really only been to like retailers. I think the only dedicated cosmetic store that I've really ever walked into is either like a Bare Minerals or I've gone to the NYX store that's in the Mall of America or something like Sigma, but never anything quite like this. The story behind Glossier and really how the brand got started is very inspiring. So look into that if you're interested. Anyways, you walk up this staircase and above you is like this huge skylight and you get to the top and right when you walk in it's just the decor is beautiful everything is very minimal but very kind of feminine and clean at the same time there is flowers everywhere and they have tables of products so it's pretty much testers so they have their entire product line skincare everything kind of laid out for you there's mirrors everywhere there's employees all over the floor you know there to help you and again like I said take your order so once you have a chance to play with everything and if there's product that you want to purchase you walk up to one of the gals. They're all wearing almost like these painter like jumpsuits. It's really adorable. And they have iPads out and you let them know what you would like to purchase. They take your card right there. And then there's a little area that you walk off to where you can sit and wait. And there's almost like this huge like, I don't know what you would even call it. It's like a rotating rack and they clip the little bags to it like this. And then they have your name right here and they'll call your name and then they have your products all packaged and ready for you. Funny thing is, is that when I first walked in, I had asked one of the gals if I could record. I let her know that I was kind of vlogging, you know, that I had a YouTube channel and she said, yeah, that's totally fine. Just let anyone know if you need us to move out of the way or if you're trying to get a certain shot. And I thought that that was fantastic. She was super nice about it. But then when I went over to the area where you could pick up your orders and I was talking into the camera with my best friend, Sarah and I flipped the camera around and I wanted to show like where you could pick up the orders and the little turning almost like a bike gear where like all the orders were coming down from wherever their little mini distribution area is. This other gal walked up to me and she's like you need to ask permission to film and I got kind of ticked because she messed up my video <laughs> And I had already asked permission to film and got the okay. But nonetheless, I mean, she wasn't rude about it or anything, but it just kind of, you know, spoiled the funk a little bit. <laughs> she kind of got in the way, walked right in front of my camera. Let me show you guys that clip. The Glossier store right now. Oh. <laughs> 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 Sarah, how would you feel? 
84 doll hair. It could have been worse. I'm waiting for my order. It's super cool. So you, you go in the store, everything is like a demo. They have everything sitting out so you can touch it, try it, and then you walk up to one of the people that work here, one of the salespeople, and you give them your order, what you want, and then you go over here and you wait, and then they actually deliver your order like this. So all the orders come down that little thing. So yeah, again, awesome experience just beautifully decorated it was so fun i believe that there's the new york city store and i believe there's one in la there was so much product in there and actually getting to play with everything versus just what you see online because obviously it's mainly online that you would buy glossier their products perform quite well i was impressed with so many different things in there i could have easily dropped $300, $400 on product in there if I wanted to. Luckily, I kept it to around $100 in total with what I purchased. I absolutely love the packaging. I love the presentation. I love that when you go to the store, it is truly a full-on experience. So everything kind of comes in this like reusable bubble wrap here, almost like a giant Ziploc bag. I have actually been using this to bring my makeup with me to work. Things that I want to touch up if I have, you know, I want to use the lip gloss or the boy brow or whatever it is that I want to bring with me that day. This has been really convenient and I love that it is reusable. This is really nice quality. Yes, I'm going to go on about this bag here. I really, really like it and I think it's cool that they deliver the package that way. So let's talk about the first product that I picked up. So I have heard Kathleen Lights talk so much about the Wouter. So I knew right away before even going into the store that this was for sure a product that I wanted to try and pick up. I have an obsession recently with setting powders. I can't get enough of them. And I feel like I've been kind of lucky. I've been finding so many incredible face powders despite my dry skin that have just looked fantastic. So this is the Wouter. Now it comes in different shades and I know recently they've expanded on it. So there are several to choose from, from very, very light and they are getting better. They're getting some deeper shades. I know before they really only had like maybe two or three options. The color of the powder that you get is determined from like a G and then a number. So G1 is the deepest and I believe it goes all the way up to like G10 or something like that. So my powder is good for anyone who falls in the G8 to the G10 range. This pretty much disappears appears right onto my skin. There isn't a whole lot of pigment that comes off from this, but I will tell you, I did end up wearing this on my wedding day. So here's what it looks like up close. You've got like that typical mesh screen there protecting the product and the inside of the lid has this kind of divot that when you put the cap on, it keeps everything secure and powder doesn't fluff everywhere. So again, this is the setting powder that I have on my face right now. You guys, this powder really truly gives you a very flawless, poreless look without making your skin look dry. That is what I love about it. You still get a luminosity. If you're using like a dewy foundation, you still see that luminosity, but it takes away kind of like that heaviness or if you feel like you're a little bit oily again you still have that natural radiance coming through without it looking too flat or dry or exaggerating anything I have tried baking with this I do still prefer other powders over this for baking but again when I'm just setting my whole face or if I just want to set concealer quickly you know like a no makeup makeup look or even if I don't really have any makeup on and I just want to give myself like a sheer veil of just like nice coverage kind of smooth everything out from a sheer standpoint this powder is fantastic minimal ingredients um, it is talc free I have not been able to stop using it to be honest with you I really really enjoy it so the next product I got was the stretch concealer I picked this up in the shade G8 I do want to order a lighter shade because right now I do have some Sun I have some color right now and eventually this might be just a little bit too dark it probably won't brighten as much as I want it to but I I enjoy this concealer. I've heard a lot of people say that they feel like it's not enough coverage or that it creases easily. And I will tell you, Glossier is a brand, which I'm sure most of you already know, it's not intended to be full coverage, full glam. Their products are made to enhance your natural beauty. And I'm a huge fan of that. I don't put on a full face of glam makeup every single day for work. Sure, I do that some days, but most of the time I just don't have the time or even the energy to do that in the mornings. So I look for more easy glam, I call it. So here's what the concealer looks like. If you have aged skin, textured skin, dry under eyes, 
I believe that you would love this product. I like that it's in a pot. I put my finger in there, clean hands of course. It allows the product to warm up with my body heat and I kind of just dab it on the under eyes. I do have it on right now. It gives me a beautiful kind of light to medium full coverage. If you are someone who needs more coverage or you just prefer that, you're gonna be disappointed by this product. For me, it cancels out enough of, you know, the color on my lids, on my under eyes, to just give me like that natural flawless look. It's not heavy at all. It is not cakey. It does settle into lines a little bit, but you guys, let's be real, pretty much every product that you put on your under eyes is going to crease somewhat unless you set it with powder. So as long as I set this, I really don't get much creasing or separation and it wears very well throughout the day. I am a fan of this. If you are dry, someone who has more mature skin, give this a shot, check it out. I think that you would really actually enjoy it. All right, moving on to the next product I have in here. I had to do it, I had to pick up Boy Brow. So I picked mine up in the shade Brown. This is all I have on my brows right now. This is hands down the best brow gel that I have tried thus far. I am a pretty big fan of the ColourPop. I'd say that that's kind of a little bit of a less expensive dupe, but I don't find this to be that expensive anyways for what it is for me personally. This gives my brows the perfect amount of fill, fluff, and holds them in place. It gives them a beautiful tint and it looks natural again. I really enjoy that. Sometimes I don't wanna fuss with my brows. It can take me somewhere upwards of 10 to 15 minutes sometimes just to get a brow if I'm using a brow pomade, I'm filling them in, I'm using a clear gel to set everything in place. I have to feel like I have to, I feel like I have to be so precise that it's nice to have a product like this that I can just swoosh into my brows and get a nice tint, holds everything in place and just gives them the perfect amount of enhancement. So really just swipe this once through and it doesn't dry down quick. It doesn't get thick. You have time to work with it. You can layer it if you want more pigment, if you want more color payoff. And that's what I really like about it as well is that it is workable. You can work with this brow product, but I enjoy it. I think again, that it's enough for me. It's beautiful and it's a home run. I, I now know why people are obsessed with Boy Brow and why it has the following that it has. We are almost done here with the products. Again, another product that I had to get was the lip gloss. I've heard Rob Beauty Christie talk about this. This truly is an insane gloss. If you are looking for glass looking lips, this is it. Even when you look in the packaging, it just looks so like clear and juicy and glass-like. I have a lot of favorite glosses. I love the Jeffree Star glosses, ColourPop, Kylie glosses are incredible as well. But this, you put it on and it just... I mean, look at that. This is hands down the juiciest, most reflective glass-like gloss that I have ever tried. It layers beautifully on top of a liner. I just have kind of like a very light nude lip liner on right now. Layered this on top and it holds this shine for a very long time. Like even if it feels like it's starting to come off or you can't feel it as much, that shininess is still there. It's so cool. I had a lot of the girls at work trying it and they loved it as well. They were like, oh my gosh, I have to get that now too. I love it. It's becoming my favorite clear everyday gloss. One thing I will also mention, again, if you have more mature skin, if you have fine lines in your lips, this actually creates almost like a layer over them where it fills everything in. It doesn't dry your lips out, it wears well, but it makes your lips look rejuvenated and like there really isn't any lines there. So I think that gloss formulas are really starting to come through. I'm kind of preferring glosses over traditional lipsticks at this point. I'm just really into it, especially in the summertime. It just makes everything look so wet and hydrated and plump and juicy. It's just oh, so good. This gloss is worth every penny, I would definitely repurchase it. Last but not least, this is something that I actually ordered after the fact. I meant to purchase this in the store, but I was so like overly stimulated by everything in my surroundings and actually being in Glossier that I don't know what it is. When I went up to the girl, I just completely forgot to mention it. So I did order it. And I will say, they get your stuff to you in lightning speed. This got to me within like three days. But anyways, I picked up their perfume solid. This is their signature perfume in the scent U. I believe it's the only one they have. This smells fantastic. The scent is almost exactly the name. It's U. Like, 
It's like effortless, natural, fresh, clean, but does have some deeper scents to it as well. It is so yummy. So here's what it looks like on the inside. I can't even really describe it. It is a unisex scent, I would say, personally. I feel like really anyone could use this fragrance. But you just kind of rub your finger in here and you can just dab it on the insides of the wrist, you know, behind the ear, on the neck. And it is pretty fragrance, but it's not overpowering. It doesn't give me a headache. It doesn't feel too heavy, but I just fell in love with it. And I told myself that when I went to New York that I was going to find a perfume while I was there. So then whenever I would experience the scent, it would take me back to my time in New York City. And that's exactly what this does. I, I love it. It reminds me of being in the store. It just reminds me of that beautiful day, my first full day in New York City with my friends and family. It just, it's kind of sentimental and it takes me back. Now I did also order one more product with the perfume that I left at work, oddly enough. I don't know why I did that, but it's in my desk drawer right now as we speak. So Glossier recently released a collection of products called Play, and it has more color. Again, it's basically just a little bit more playful. When I was in the Glossier store, I tried some of their liners. I think they're like their cream gel liners. Blown away at the longevity. I had swatched some right here on my hand, and throughout the day, even after washing my hands and everything, I would look down and I'm like, oh my God, that liner is still on my hand, like right here, which is obviously if I'm out and about, I'm in the subway, I'm touching things, I'm shopping, you would think that that would have faded or come off and it didn't. I knew in the store that I wasn't going to purchase it quite yet, but then when I got home and I got to thinking, I'm like, I need to get one of those. So I picked up the shade Jumbo, which is like this burnt orange, deep orange shade. Beautiful, it is so creamy, but it doesn't smudge or move anywhere and they are so bright, super extremely pigmented. They are beautiful. I want every single color, the longevity. If you're looking for a liner, especially a colorful liner, and you want it to last, if that's just what you wanna do is put like a pop of color on the lid, you can smudge it out. Fantastic, the formula is amazing. Next on my list, I would really like to pick up one of the balms. I think they have like their balm.coms, I think they're called. Um, I want one of the cloud paints. I do also want to, again, like I said, pick up more shades of the concealer. I want their universal skin tint. I pretty much want everything from their lineup because so far I'm impressed. I think it performs and does exactly what it's supposed to do. This is not sponsored or paid for in any way. This is just my genuine opinion, my experience with these products. I think they're fantastic. If you want natural beauty that is high quality, on the go, things that will just work and be effortless and enhance your natural beauty, I definitely suggest giving Glossier a shot or at least maybe trying some of the products that I talked about today. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've had experiences with Glossier. Have you been to the store? What is your favorite product of theirs? Or what is a product that you have been dying to try that you just haven't taken the leap yet and purchased? I love hearing from you guys. You know, the comment section is my favorite. It's the one of the funnest parts about YouTube. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it, share it, of course. And before you go, if you haven't already, be sure to show me some love and hit that subscribe button. And if you really want to show me some love, be sure you have that bell button on so that you get notifications when I upload new videos just like this one. The full New York City vlog type deal thing that I'm starting to edit is coming. I have over 40 minutes of footage. So I kind of got to break that down. It's going to be kind of messy. I didn't really pop in and speak a ton. It's just like a lot of footage and me popping in every now and then saying a few things. But I think it'll be cool, especially for those who have never been to New York City and want to experience it. So that will be coming at some point. I have a lot of other stuff too, makeup wise that I need to film. I picked up the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette and the Brain Freeze Highlighter Pro palette. I want to share with you guys the Pacifica products that I purchased. I have that Bad Bin video as well. There's a lot coming up. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your love and support. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye guys.